Greetings, if we're both genius here again. Um, my mate Phil is on a bit of a roll at the moment. He sent me something else straight after the butt plug thing, and I'll come to that in a minute. But uh, talking about the five step process we take you through. The first step is getting extreme clarity on various aspects of your business. Um, there's the business itself, because most business owners tend to treat their businesses as jobs or even hobbies, which is the worst case scenario and not as actual businesses. And let's face it, a business is just a, a collection of processes. You kind of crank the handle, put in the raw materials, and stuff comes out the other end in terms of profits and sales and things. Well, most business owners don't actually look at it like that at all. They look at it as a job, meaning they take what comes. Um, I remember speaking to a guy, a fit pro, a little while ago, and I said, how do you get clients? He says, well, they... I kind of work out in the gym and they come up and speak to me and well, sometimes I take them on if they ask me to. Well, you know, that's completely, that, that is the lowest common denomination of getting business. You've got no idea who's going to approach you. You're not doing anything to try to filter them out. You're just taking what comes. That's the possibly the worst way to get business for anyone. But it's the way that most businesses get business. They, If they're a bricks and mortar business, which is what we deal with mostly, um, you know, with an actual premises, whether people come into it or not, or or you use it as a kind of base to do work like an electrician or a bathroom um, uh, outfit or kitchens or something like that. You basically sit there twiddling your thumbs, maybe got an advert on Yell, something in the local paper, doing a bit of Facebook, but you're just waiting for people to come along and you take what comes because your targeting's crap. You're not actually thinking about it. So there's so many aspects of your business that you don't have clarity on. And what we do is we take you through, a, it's a mostly, a, well, I say paper, you don't have to print it out, I guess, but it's a, it's, we call it a paper exercise in getting extreme clarity on whom you want to sell to, what their burning problem is, what you solving it does for them, where you, and then, then and only then can we, then, can, can we decide where we can find these people and, and figure out what to say to them. Because this is one of the problems, you see. People sell on price because they're trying to speak to everybody. So they're trying to please everybody. So they're not really saying anything specific and they're not solving a specific problem. Because using the PT example, as I often do, because it's a, a, a it, it's it's something we've all experienced, either ourselves or by someone close to us going on a diet, going to the gym. You know, when we all understand the process. Using the PTs as, as, a, as, a, as an example, a guy of 20 going to the gym is almost certainly going for different reasons from a guy who's 30. And the guy who's 30 is going for different reasons from the guy who's 40. And the guy who's 40 is going for different reasons from the guy who's 50. And then 60 and 70 and so on. And the thing is, you know, it's the same thing. And the result is pretty much the same. Lose fat, gain muscle, be healthier and fitter. But the motivations, the outcome as well at the end of it is very different. The emotional thing, the hook is very different. But of course, if you're just taking what comes and you're trying to appeal to all of them, your message has to be so bland and you try and hit everything at once, it, it, no wonder nothing fucking works. So we take you through an exercise, the first step of extreme clarity, looking at your business, looking at your customers, looking at your clients, looking at what you sell, um, you know, the, the problem you solve and all those things. And just to give you, to go back to what I said at the beginning, um, this is a, a screenshot, it's from LinkedIn. It's somebody um, who appears, I'm not going to name him, that wouldn't be fair, it, but it appears to be someone on LinkedIn who's, apparently in the business of teaching PTs how to get more and better clients. And what he's got is a long post and it goes, it runs over into the comments because there's a, I think there's a, a follow on. So he's used it, it's all 1300 characters to talk about special offers to bring clients in. And there's all sorts of stuff. I mean, it, and it's nearly all based on discounts and money off. Discounts and money off. Discounts and money off. Fuck's sake. But the telling thing is at the end, where it says, remember creating different offers enables you to appeal to any client. If you want to appeal to any client and every client, you are doing something fundamentally fucking wrong. It is the very first thing you should do is to decide exactly with extreme clarity and prejudice whom you want to sell to. My kids, they've all asked me, well, yeah, they've all asked me, all three of them, my natural children, have all asked me at different times, uh, I want to go into business, Dad. What what business can I open? 
And the answer I gave them was not what they wanted to hear. I think they wanted to hear, hey, here's a really profitable niche you can go into. It's dead sexy and exciting. But the first thing I said to them was, well, okay, who do you want to sell to? Because until you know whom you want to sell to, you've got no idea really what you want to sell. And going into a business because you love it or are passionate about it, I'm not saying it's always stupid, but for the love of God, use your fucking brain. Yeah, okay, there's always going to want to be PTs. Okay, every you know the, the world is getting fatter. We're always going to need PTs. We're always going to need electricians. We're always going to need plumbers. So yeah, there's there's <laughs> there is some basis. There is some rationale in, in going into a an industry because it's there. But you know, if your passion is painting avocados, and you think, well, they do tell me to do what I love, and the money will follow, there's a <laughs> there's virtually no chance you're going to sell many painted fucking avocados. You get my point, don't you? So the first thing, I guess if I can sum it up, the first step is getting extreme clarity on various aspects of your business. And then and only then can we move forward. Like I say, this is very different from most businesses in my industry. Uh, most most people, they're the, the hammer wielders, they're just looking for nails. All right, I'll speak to you soon. Ta-da.